I'm joined by Deepa Malik and she needs no introduction. She is a Paralympian in her own right. Ma'am, thank you so much for speaking to us, ma'am. I am talking to you on a pertinent issue that is raging in Delhi. You have spoken about how you have been associated yes. with Delhi on several different fronts. Absolutely. Uh, there is this entire issue pertaining to student agitation in Delhi University that has taken a different turn altogether. Ever since we have had uh, the ABVP and the other student bodies clashing, it's leading to violent protests. Amongst all them, we had one individual, a 20-year-old uh, student who come out. Uh, her name is Gur uh, Gurmehar Kaur. She is a Kargil martyr's daughter. But she says that this is not what she supports and that uh, my father did not die, my, Pakistan did not kill my father, war did. How do you see these statements coming? Because she is then being trolled severely on social media. And you yourself are coming from an army background, army daughter, army wife. You yourself found yourself in that situation. Absolutely. So how do you see these statements coming now? I think, I think uh, her father's death should not be belittled by saying that uh, the war killed him. Because uh, if he died in the war, he was actually protecting the, the independence, the sovereignty of the country. That was the call of his duty. That was the need of the hour. If you're talking and uh, you're promoting world peace, I can agree. Then she should draft her statements in that manner that nobody should go to war and nobody uh, uh, should uh, adopt violence. And we should promote world peace. Well, I agree to that part, but I do not agree to the part that the war killed his, the father because father was uh, very respectfully at his duty. And it was the same time when I got paralyzed and my husband was at the Kargil war, followed by Op Parakram uh, due to the sons of firing. So first three years of my paralysis, my husband was not there. But I cannot turn around and say that... Uh, my husband neglected me because he was not there, because there was this. I understand as an army wife, as an army daughter, that that's what we stand up for. And that's, that's where we hold a pride in the uniform. And uh, that uh, when required, we can even set an example of laying down our life for the country. So uh, I wouldn't agree with her there, but I would definitely uh, say that the reaction and the threats that are going to yes, her. That is exactly my next question yeah. to you, ma'am. Uh, you've made a pertinent point yes. that an army man's sacrifice should not be trivialized in this manner, should not be belittled because you are coming from a similar background. But the fact is, as a woman, as a 20-year-old girl, when you are constantly being trolled on social media and are given definite, uh, definitely dire, uh, threat of dire consequences, so much so that you are forced to pull out from a protest test, that you want to displace yourself from Delhi, there is security provided to you, ma'am. This sort of a trolling and threatening of a woman for coming forth and speaking her mind to try and object to a certain form of protest that led to violence. Do you think women should be targeted in this manner, that fear psychosis should sink into them? No, that I absolutely uh, deny and I say that that should not have been uh, that should not have happened. And uh, like I said, this this is a democratic country and if we do not uh, approve of each other's comments, like I do not approve of her comment where she's belittling her father's uh, uh, death and calling it as just a consequence of a war and not saying that it was actually a sacrifice uh, done to protect uh, the country. But uh, at the same time, I'd also like to say that uh, democracy means that you have a right to expression. Uh, and uh, we are known for, uh, I think we are the, one of the biggest democracies and, and this is not the way uh, to kind of uh, react or, or, or the threats that have gone to her. Uh, this is not how India treats its daughters or women and it is not supposed to happen like that.